Flame Possess Sacred Art. Extra Flame! Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another read through to Villain to Kill. Yes, last time we read the prologue, chapter 1, and chapter 2. Pretty interesting on how the world building is, because I talked about, you know, how, you know, the gods and how they play, and now the main character as a psyker was being it was called treason against and now he got he's a kite but I don't I think he got he's a kite. I think I think he went to the human world and now he's a human. I think there's two worlds. You know the god the god world which is pretty much still Earth but but, but with the gods with people with villains and psychers and there's like the regular human world. Cause cause he's so normal he like it doesn't look at, like him at all. He has his hair down, looks like a nerd. No I'm just kidding. But and it was me roasting the main ca Cassian. Let's get back to it, cause I want to know what this kind of crazy teleportation Isekai thing is happening. Cause I want to know, like, why did he do this? What happened to him? Okay, so we're in the boys' restroom. Yes, cause he got finished being swirled up. Where am I? I fell from the cliff, and my voice sounds different. Huh. Oh no, I look like the pretty boy. Don't worry. Please don't tell me he's gonna get women. Please don't. Please don't be like, oh my god, he's the pity boy. No, 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 no. No. Huh? What the? This is me? Hey, I would be freaked out too. If I fell from a cliff and I woke up head first down the head first in the toilet, booty up on the Friday afternoon. Mm -mm. No way. This doesn't make any sense. What do I look like a kid? What about my body? Oh yeah, he did get younger. Because he wasn't an adult and when he's a psyker. Now he's a teenager. He's he looks like a high schooler. This must be a dream. I must be dreaming. Phew. Oh, uh, no. Please don't slip back at her. Damn it. Okay, okay. Actually, his hair looks better. Much better now. Okay, good. Uh, this part where he looks like, he looks like light. Not like light. but L. I like the chain. The chain is a cool design. This isn't a dream. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. What the hell's going on here? What is? <sighs> what the? Memories are flowing into him. He got in a fight. He got swirled it up. Gongu, go am I in Korea right now? What in the world is going on here? And these aren't my memories. Whose are they? Did they switch? Did they body swap? <gasps> is this like your name when they body swap because of certain conditions were met? Oh my god. You're awake, Cassian. <laughs> Who? Who's there? Mm, okay, the evil eye necklace. What? I will freak out if that happened. My name is Moros. And I'm an eye. Dun dun dun. I'm a mighty soul from ancient times. <laughs> I like, I like, eh. What are you? You just came out of my necklace. I'm Moros, not a what. But that's besides the point. You must have many questions. Don't you? Don't you want to know? <laughs> Villain to kill. I like. I kind of. Kind of wish it was more fancy looking. Like this is cool, cool. I kind of wish it was more over here, a little bit more over here. You know. So, if I'm getting this right, you brought me back to life? I mean, he did get shot to the chest, so. How many times do I have to tell you that I did? Come to think of it, your Korean is pretty good. Duh, I used to live here before I was adopted. Okay, so, yeah, I was right. My dude was right, because last time I was, he said he was he was in an orphanage in the U.S. The way that it was worded, it sounded like he wasn't a U.S. He wasn't born in the U.S. So, I'm guessing he was born in... in in Korea. Huh. Ah, damn it. I died and came back to life. This doesn't make any sense. Jeff gave me to you. Je oh, wait. Blah, blah, blah. Jeff gave me to you, remember? He did it to protect you. Please tell me the psychers are actually evil. 
like some kind of evil organiz you know evil organization with a hero type personality facade. That'll be dope. Huh? To protect me. I mean, they were really close, and he did tell them to run. So, what Jeff said in Rhodes. <sighs> what was Jeff looking for again? I remember it was some kind of sword. Mark, the Sword of Annihilation. What? That's the name of the sword? That's kind of lame. Why couldn't it be like... Excalibur. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I totally blank on coming with a cool name. I'm sorry. It's an ancient sword. Oh, of the gods? Made a long time ago during the War of Myth. And how would you know? It happened long ago, did it not? That's because I'm an almighty soul from ancient times. Nonsense! If you don't know anything, just listen and learn! <laughs> I mean, I, I too would be ticked off, be taught a history lesson by some stupid soul. How can I trust you? On what grounds? Gangu's smartphone. Okay. I had to sacrifice half of my power to bring you back to life. I want to know if these two can combine powers or combine forces. Like a Naruto Kurama, Yuji Tadori, and Sukuna type of feel. Sacrifice? I don't believe that either. <laughs> Corrupt hero Cassia and his black money. Ah, uh, uh, wait, so we, no, no, no. So the, okay, never mind. Because last time I, I mentioned, or I said that there's two different worlds the Psyker villain world and the regular human world. That he got transferred there. But no, it's one big old world together. Okay, never mind. I was proven wrong right away. I'm glad. I'm glad I don't sound like an idiot for like... 100 times, millions, whatever, how many chapters going to be. Cassian Lee, a top class seeker, has been taken from the forces of evil and returned for favors. He gathered his information, conducted an open plan to stop from the organization announced that the secret operation finally eliminated the corrupt rogue seeker. Meanwhile, top class seeker Jeff Malik. Tragically lost his life while fighting the cold-blooded traitor Cassie Pierre around the room in the middle of a truth. Wait, what? Ah, kill two birds with one stone. Kill him. Kill him. And make him feel like he stopped the rogue. And do not, and they can't question him. Since he's dead. They're saying I killed Jeff? Listen to the article. What is this nonsense? There's no way I'd do that. Oh, are these sparks coming out of his mouth? <gasps> oh, oh, I'm getting chills. So I'm getting, so I'm guessing he has a new power. Lampus, those bastards! How dare they do this to me? I'm innocent, but they framed me and made it look like I'm the one who killed Jeff. Mm. Calm down, Cassian. Right now you're evolving. <gasps> He's getting the marks on his face. Ah, oh, Psychalia. I mean, not Psy Psychalia. That's the name. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Was that a hand? What's happening? shang -Ching? Huh? What the? Ah. Oh, he looks cool. Oh, that's epic. Okay. Okay. I love it. I love this power. What the hell is this? I just noticed I keep changing his voice. I'm sorry. Whoa, why is this so... Whatever. What the hell's taking him so long? Stop whining. He'll be here soon. Uh. <sighs> no, he's their... Their dog. I don't like it. Look at him run. Pathetic loser. Did all that. And did you go check? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. But there was no one in the bathroom. Huh? No one? Are you sure? Y yeah. What about the police? No ambulance either? I didn't see anyone. T what? Didn't you say he died? You said he wasn't breathing, you Dimwit, they're trying to kill him? There's awful people. Oh my god. There's no way. He 
definitely wasn't breathing. Oh, so he went to a dead. He got transferred to a dead to a dead body. Oh. You can go. Okay. Wait, is that? They promised him munchies. Oh my god. So I was freaking out over nothing, huh? It's all your fault. Bro, don't talk smack about someone with a bat. Enough. It's a relief that loser didn't bite it. So what are you going to do about him? What'd you think? <sighs> Screw him all over again, of course. Oh, what a D-bag. That's messed up. Also, always make sure to like the chapters. Because, you know, the, cr the creator is always hard at work to post these weekly. So, big props to them. So, yeah. You know, I don't want to make these videos long. I only did it the first time because it's, it's a prologue. Prologues don't get much. So, I kind of combined it with the, for chapter 2. So, yeah. I'll do these uh, single chapters. So, yeah. Okay. So, I, I really, I kind of. So, I was wrong about my theories from last chapter. I was wrong. So, there's no two different worlds. One big world. So, he got dragged into his soul. His soul, I guess, was dragged into a dead body. And now he's living into in the boy's body. Which was presumably was ki was drowned by them. Those three idiots. I feel bad for him. I want to know if... Because he, he, Cassian had the memories flown into him. So I wonder if he is going to have knowledge about them three too. I'm pretty sure he will. So, and that big transformation was epic. I like it. He looks so cool. But I think he's no longer going to have the firepower, which sucks because I was so excited. Main character with fire abilities, that's awesome. But this is, this is okay too. I like it. Very good. Kind of like, I like it that he's coming, he's going to become a villain, but it's like, like, but not really a villain. He's going to be, like, more of an anti-hero. He's going to fight against the Psychers. That's what I'm thinking of. But people are going to call him a villain because he's fighting against the, quote, quote, heroes. So, yes, I'm excited to, to see what happened. I can see the thumbnail. So, I'm guessing he's going to encounter the bullies and fight them. And, like, oh, okay. So, I have this, so, he's going to find out, like, I'm super strong. I have these powers because of the necklace. He was brought back to life by Moros by that evil eye necklace thingy so i'm guessing his power flowed into the body too so i'm kind of like it's a mix so he's he's kind of getting his power so that's what i'm getting at well anyways see you guys at the next read through <laughs> okay bye bye